So I want to show off a new feature I added. So essentially this kit here, yeah, you could back up manager and I basically want to show you what resign does. And what quick resign does is essentially you can just take a backup from anyone and then move it to any other account. So you can basically just change the owner. So if I go to um to PlayStation Vita, alright, and it will say sign to and I have two accounts on here right now. And I'm just going to click on um, my main account, which is there with Minecraft. Um, Peace Not Family of Friend Requests. Um, okay, and then you will see um, every single backup in Hyper ID form. So I can just pick any backup, for example, um, this one. And then I can click Unsign and Extract. And it will um, go ahead and extract that backup for me. And this could take a while depending on the size of it, but as you can see it's actually doing stuff from in here. Uh, it doesn't have any progress bar or anything as of right now. I honestly don't actually know how to implement that sort of thing. But as you can see, it is doing stuff down here on the console. It's taking a while. It's taking a while, a while, and a while. I'm going to speed this up. Oh, never mind, I'm not going to speed up, I just finished. Um, okay, now I'm going to click on who I want to change it to. So, for example, so from Pina, instead, which is my Japanese account. And I'm just going to click choose account. And then it's going to pack it back into its, um, it's going to then sign it to that account. Alright, so that's it done. Now I said resign repeat, refresh QCMA. So now I just want to refresh your QCMA and you can now extract it on that backup and you can now extract that backup on whatever account you signed it to. So I just thought that was a neat feature. It saves some having to go on here on sign and extract and then go on here and sign and pack back right afterwards. Yeah, that's so what I want to show it off because I thought that would be a really useful thing a lot of people might get use out of. Keep in mind, um, no, it's not enable privacy. It still requires a valid license file, unfortunately. Um, and fortunately as well, at the same time, I just, I say unfortunately because I have legitimate uses for wanting to bypass the license, such as having multiple accounts and being annoyed having to sign each one or actually use an application. But whatever. Next feature, next um, video will probably be about the last feature I need to implement before I can release version 1 of my front end, and that is the easy install as you can see right now. It just prints main that support that easy install to the console, and that's it. So, yeah. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>